Hello all and welcome to Magus Crag Gaming. Alright, I posted a video earlier on YouTube about this game that I'm producing and uh, well, I uh, had my sound monkeyed up. So I've adjusted the sound. It might be a little low, but I think it'll be high enough you can actually hear. So here goes it. We're going to go ahead and get into this. This is what I've designed so far with the 2003 RPG Maker. Very bare bones, not a lot, um, nothing, no meat really, just uh, basic uh, functions and areas laid out. Um, the inn, the pub here in the first town. This is going to be a dungeon. Um, uh, I did allude to that in the other video, but obviously the sound is not there. A uh, few little places. I'm going to have uh, some creatures in here to kill and stuff like that, some stuff together. Uh, that's going to be an exit point. There's a well here. I intend to do a few things with this. Um, some actions. Um, like, and I've got to adjust the text. I don't know. Can I actually make this bigger? No. You know, it cut off some of the text. So I might have to adjust the text on some of this. This particular spot. I want it to be a little explanatory. And uh, it's cut out a few of the words, so uh, that's a little rough, but I might have to adjust it just so it'll fit in proper. So that's something I have to fix. Uh, here's the, the one castle that I have built. Uh, there's nothing in it as of yet. Um, I'm probably going to do, like, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but I'll figure it out. Um, uh, I may just leave it kind of like a wonder thing where you go into it and you figure out you can't go anywhere. And then you come here. And this happens. You flash, and then boom, you're here. Which is in the castle, which leads to this throne room. Uh, you read this. It lets you know only the strong will can activate the crystal ball. Come over to the crystal ball. I have some really good ideas for this crystal ball. And I plan on putting them in place. So uh, it'll shake a little bit like an earthquake. And I intend to have someone appear here. And then you'll talk to them. A lot to do, a lot to figure out. I'm just getting into this RPG Maker, and it's and I've got this switch here, to, not to get off track. I'm learning a lot about this, and it's it's a process, and things change, and as it develops, it comes out different than you thought. What the heck is going on? Oh shoot! I was on YouTube. I didn't know that. Okay, that scared me. <laughs> Freaked me out. I was like, what the heck? Who's talking to me? <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Okay, and then this. I'm probably going to change this a little bit. Uh, just so, some stuff here. Uh, this is going to be a church. This is glitched right here. It automatically teleports you out on this one. So I have to fix that one. A little bit of reprogramming. And this one works good. So I can come in and out. And I intend to make this a special kind of thing with some trigger points. So that's what I'm going to do probably. And you can walk down and around here. And you see that's back where the rock is. And this is the passage, the underground passage. It's, I'm going to have this where it's going to be fraught with enemies. And it's going to be a travel point between continents. And uh, it's going to be something that you have to work to... Uh, maybe gain levels or get through um and then when you get here yes buford i hear you you've been out and everything so down. this is going to be a town haven't decided what names and stuff yet but i like the location this is going to be a dungeon pathway here there's going to be a dungeon over here and this is going to be called cold dimlo continent that's what i'm calling this uh i don't know why i call it but i like it and then this is going to be another point of interest for a dungeon and some stuff. I still have yet to figure a lot of this out. I'm just kind of building it as go as I go. Excuse me, as I go. And this is going to be another dungeon here. One more town here. Right here. And then we're going to go across down here. Past these mountains. There's going to be another bridge to another continent. Now, with the layout I have... It's not a huge game. I may see if I can make this bigger. But I may just pack a lot into this little area. And make it very progressive. Where you have to work hard to get where you want to go. And this 
this continent has another bridge up here which connects to the other continent uh cold dim low uh continent and uh this is gonna be uh an island and i'm going to actually have some kind of action at this island where you get an item i don't know how i'm gonna figure out how to get over there and what it'll do yet but uh it's it's in in progress it's in progress uh but that is the first look at my game called Eros, I guess you could say it. It's A-R-E-O-S. I'm calling it Eros. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, that's what I'm calling it. And the world you're going to be in is called the World of Way Waymar. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, and I'll, I'll tell you the name of the town. Um I can't remember the first one, but the second one, I'll tell you, is called Iron Hill. I've named that Iron Hill. Oh, that's not the pathway. <laughs> we got to learn this a little bit. I, I may have built it, but I don't have it learned all the way. So we'll go down this pathway, and Iron Hill is just on the other side of this. It's the second town. That's Iron Hill. And... That is particularly where the church is, if you remember me speaking about that. So I've, I've got a lot of work done. Um, I've only been working on this maybe three days or so. Um, but yeah, this is Iron Hill. Um, and yeah, okay. Alright guys, like, subscribe, and follow, and take it easy.